Just a real quick like uh, 10 second video. I'm going to do a electric fan conversion on my uh, 92 Silverado to try and save some gas mileage. So I haven't really taken anything apart um, except for one screw. It's kind of broken in the corner of the um, shroud here. But I'm going to completely remove the shroud and the big heavy metal fan. Um, I have an electrical diagram drawn up in all the parts. Uh, probably going to junkyard in a little while here to grab a fan. But um, just do a quick video and some pictures before I start out here. And, I'll figure out what I will and will not post later on, but um, just where we are now, so just a quick uh, less than a minute video, and that's where we are. I'm going to mount the controller probably like here in the relay, close to the fan. Um, probably going to look for a fan off of a 93 to 96, I believe is the year, Mark 8. Um, from a junkyard, I think it's like $20 from the junkyard, so I'll shoot for something like that, and um, well, that's where we are, and I'll post the video once I get some more progress done. Okay, here's another part of my uh, electric fan install. As you can see, it's installed um, and it's running. The thing flows some ridiculous air. It's out of like a mid-90s Thunderbird of some sort, but uh, it definitely flows some tremendous amounts of air. Um, quick look at there's the wiring coming off of it for the harness. I got a, a down here a little 30 amp breaker that actually powers this two relays right here, it's kind of hard to see them, but they're right down in there. Um, they're wiring them parallel so they would split the load. Because this thing apparently takes about 40 when it comes on, they're only 40, so that way they can half handle the load. And right below that is the temperature control, which you can kind of see. Um, and there's a blue wire that goes there, goes all the way around it. The only one I could find was over here. It's the cruise control, but that's ignition, so the fan won't come on without the ignition on. You can see we'll uh, set it here. I can turn the ignition. And that kills the fan. But yeah, it definitely uh, it saved me about mm, one mile per gallon. I don't know about any horsepower, but just a quick uh, view of what we did with the electric fan. Used uh, as the motor mounts I made, or uh, radiator mounts. Just used them in the factory little rubber mount down there one on each side. They're not pretty, but they work. And, um, yeah, you can't really see much, but uh, there's the relays and the controller down there. And uh, they just run right off the battery. The, control, the uh, relays themselves and that controller tells them to turn on. So that's basically the electric fan conversion. I use uh, these little zip ties and some plastic spacers to hold it in with the foam that came with it. So there's what we got, and that's the electric fan conversion. I didn't do much when I actually converted it because it took a. Uh, it was raining and cold out. I just wanted to get it done because we needed the truck the next day. So pretty basic. It took about a day and a half. Um, that included going to get the parts and relays and running and cutting wiring. So there we go.